Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add a blog post to your Canva website. Now we're going to create everything from scratch but don't worry at some point you can even add your blog into your Canva website. So I'm going to start by searching for a blog website here or a blog post right here. It does not mean that that is the only thing that you need to do when it comes to adding blog into your website. So here I got a bunch of blog templates, but these are actually not the one that I'm searching for. So I think I'm going to change my search keywords to website instead, and we're going to work from there. So I found these ones right here and I kind of like the design. Now let's say that I'm going to use this as my website. Obviously, don't ever post something on Canva just as it is. If you would like to use the templates, make sure you change the inside, the elements, etc. according to your own. Please don't steal other people's idea or other people's design. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to use the design as it is. I'm not saying that this is mine. I'm just saying that I'm going to start from here. So we got our homepage right here. This is how it looks like for now. And let's say that I will want to add a blog post into my website. What I can do is I'm going to add a page and you can start working on your blog post over here. Now I'm going to add a frame element so that I can insert a picture on this page. So let's say I'm going to search for clothes or clothing and I'm going to take a look at the picture like so and I think that this pink one right here matches the rest of my website but i want to try and search for a free picture so i'm going to avoid using anything with this symbols right here now let's say that i'm going to be using this one I'm just going to put this here and then i'm going to search for a frame and I'm going to use this one and adjust it to my design. So I want to put it like so and drag it on top of my frame just a little bit. And to adjust a picture, I can just double click on this frame and I'm going to put it like so. All right, so I got the pictures added. Now I'm going to add my text. I'm going to add a heading first, put it here. And I'm also going to add smaller text space like so. Now I'm going to use the help of ChatGPT to create my blog post writing. All right, so I got the blog post ready. And this might not seem like much for now because for me, this is just going to be some sort of a spoiler or just some introduction for the blog post and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and add read more dot 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 and then i'm going to highlight this and i'm going to link this to the actual blog post now in order to create the actual blog post we're going to need a help of other sites and for me i'm going to be using google sites so you can go ahead and type in Google Sites, like so. And now I'm going to go ahead and create a new blank site. Now to make this looks like it's connected to my actual Canvas sites, I'm going to go back and search for the name. So this one is Arivachi & Co. Let's pretend that this is the name of the business. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this put it into my site or I can even add your logo if you want and if you can try to match the font as best as you can with the one on your other sites and I'm going to add the 
title here into my Google Sites, put it like so, and just edit it. All right, so I got the font here as Lato Light. I'm going to see. This one comes in Canva Sans. I'm going to try and search for something that I can duplicate right here. So I'm going to change this. Let's try the Georgia. I'm going to try and search for the same font right here. So I got Georgia Pro and I think that it looks quite similar. And then I'm just going to leave this one as Canva Sans. And I'm going to double click here, add some text. And then I'm going to copy the whole thing from ChatGPT and put it right here. All right, now I got the whole article or the whole blog post edit. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the background of this one. And I'm going to use the exact same background or the exact same picture with this one. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this picture. I'm going to add a new page, search for clothing again. And then I'm going to be using the same picture, which I believe is this one's right here. It's going to make it bigger and I'm going to download the specific page. Going to share and download this one as PNG. And I'm going to increase but I'm just going to download the current page so that I can get that exact picture. Right now that I got that image downloaded, I'm going to upload it over here. And as you can see now, I got the exact same picture with the one on my Canva. Now all I have to do is go ahead and click on publish on this one. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on publish. I'm going to view this website then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and copy this url i'm going to delete this page right here then i'm going to highlight on this read more and i'm going to go ahead and click on link and paste the link over here then click on done i'm going to do the exact same thing with the title as well. So I'm going to highlight everything here and then click on this link button, paste on the Google Sites link, click on done, but I don't want it to have the underline. So I'm going to go ahead and control U here to remove the underline. And now we got our blog post inserted into our Canva website. Now I'm going to try and publish the website and see if things will work or not. So, all right, so I'm done publishing the website and this is how it looks like, but we're going to scroll all the way down to find this part right here, which is the blog post part. So if I click on read more, it's going to bring me into this blog post that we've just created. And if I click on the title, it's also going to bring me there. And the reason why I'm going to be needing another site for the blog post is because the Canva website only allows me to have one page like so. And of course, you can just add your blog post at the page right here, but I prefer to add it on another place. So that's why I am using the Google Sites method. And that's basically it. That is how you can create a blog post on your Canva website. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.